Hello. Today we are looking at the Thea Cam THS CJ101 MIPI CSI camera from Thine Solutions. For our demonstration, we are using the NVIDIA Jetson Orin NX on an OVIDIA JNX42 carrier board. The Thea Cam is connected to the Jetson system using a 22 pin flat flexible cable. The THS CJ101 is a MIPI camera with a built in image signal processor. The image signal processor provides an off-the-shelf solution incorporating many complex camera functions. This helps speed time to market because you do not have to develop those features on your own. Because the camera is connected to the Jetson system using a CSI connector, uncompressed video at up to 4160 by 3120 is available from the Sony IMX258 sensor. This is a good fit for applications that need to process high resolution images without having compression artifacts get in the way. To help streamline the development process, a video for Linux driver is provided. Thine makes the source code available to customers. This camera is targeted towards system integrators and developers. The reference materials we are going to use are on the Thine Solutions website. We're looking at the THS CJ101 page. Get some pretty useful blurbs. Talks a little bit about the ISP. The connector pin signals. The resolution and frame rates. There's a nice little video about the face detection autofocus. Some tech specs. Different autofocus modes that you can use. The image functions which are available through the V4L2 driver. This is pretty useful. You can use it as is for volume production, use it as a proof of concept, use it as a reference design, or use it as a start to end to end camera system development. Thine can help you through the design process and production. And here are links to the reference material, start guide, data sheets, documentation for the V4L2 driver. You can get a image quality report for the camera and a little bit of marketing here. There's a start guide for installing the camera. Pretty comprehensive. Lists the items you need, how to set up the binary. I don't really recommend this for beginners. It's straightforward, but it's pretty low level stuff. The instructions are comprehensive. An intermediate user won't have any problems installing it. There are several shell scripts for running the camera. Let's take a look at one. Before you can run the camera, you have to set the sensor mode. So that's what this first line does. And then we do a GStreamer launch. In this case, we're doing 3840 by 2160, 30 frames per second, and we are going to a XV image sync. Let's do that and see if we get an image. There we are. That's a pretty good picture. I'm really close to the camera, so the autofocus hunts. Let's take a look at our devices. We can see that the cam on slash dev slash video zero, and we have a USB Logitech webcam. Let's take a look at the Thea cam's formats. And we can see two sets here. We can use it in one of two ways, MIPI with two lanes and MIPI with four lanes. Here's the resolutions, 1920 by 1080, 2048 by 1536, 3840 by 2160, and 4160 by 3120. That's the full 13 megapixels. List out the controls. Oh my. There are a wide variety of controls that you can use to control the ISP. You can control these with IOCTL, sensor mode, gain, exposure, frame rates, all the good stuffs. Let's run our exploration app. Let's start our camera up. We have to set the sensor mode of the camera. We want it to be zero. Let's start the camera up. There we are. Let's get a little bit bigger. 
Let's get big. I'm wearing the NVIDIA shirt today. It has a little green grid here, you can see. This is 1920 by 1080. You can see that the autofocus hunts a little bit. Let's take a look at how fast it is. So it has quick autofocus. This is lowest resolution. See what it looks like when we zoom in. Let's go to a higher resolution. Set the sensor mode up. You can see it looks a lot better. There's the shark. And then we have all the controls we can play with. Oh, we're upside down. Brightness. Turn the brightness down. Ooh, that's a lot darker. Saturation. Contrast. This is how I live my life. Deeply contrasted. And I'm always in a fog. I'm never this sharp. Noise reduction. What's that do? Let's turn that back on. It's all manually controllable. Autofocus. So you can turn the autofocus method off. There's a couple of different versions of it. Is automatic white balance. Turn that off. Then you can play with it if you want. So when you have known lighting conditions, this is pretty useful. For general photography, you just use auto white balance. And then the last year for updating the firmware. Let's go up to the big boy, 4160 by 3120. We need to change the sensor mode up to five, hit that, and then there we go. Frame rate drops a little bit. You can see that it's a square pixel now. It's closer to a square frame here. Let's go back up to 3840. 
Let's compare that to the USB camera. Let's compare that to our old webcam. You see it has quite a bit of a different look. The low light camera performance is a lot better, you can see. It's mid-afternoon. Hey, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Do, 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 do. You know who this is. Say his name.